you got to eliminate that compliance and you make it a mandate. Um, and then you do training, particularly in the city, I'll call them licensing departments, whether it's zoning, buildings, um, housing will be impacted by it, planning certainly. Um, and, it's, and, you, and you pick the people that run those agencies and the deputies that are pledging allegiance to the new world order and good governance. What? Yeah, um, that right there is the current mayor of Chicago that is talking about pledging allegiance to the new world order and good government in an old video interview that she did in April of 2019 where she laid out her plans for a quote, new city hall. This, of course, is the same mayor of Chicago that is under fire since, of course, she is restricting movement in her city, telling everyone to lock down. Meanwhile, she gavalants all around the town, even getting a haircut, which she deems essential since she's such an important image in the city of Chicago. So yeah, that old video is definitely getting a lot of attention now. And yeah, don't worry, that's not the only strange statement that has been very eye-opening and bewildering that a lot of people are focusing on today as of course we have Donald Trump that was just talking about his plans to rapidly mobilize the U.S. military in order to vaccinate everyone against the coronavirus. Yeah. And that's why we're going to be talking about that as well as a lot of important context that needs to be understood with this declaration by Donald Trump the larger conversation that needs to be had, and a lot of information that you need to know to fully understand the bigger ramifications of everything that is happening right now. And we're gonna do that plus a lot more in this video, which only exists because of your support. And one very easy way to support us is by going to wearechange.org forward slash donate, where we have many ways where you could get involved, contribute, and help out with physical mail, cryptocurrencies, products we have, and even a way to get involved without spending a single dime, while at the same time gaining some cryptocurrency and some online privacy. Would definitely recommend this option, especially during these difficult times that of course are straining many people's resources. And also, they help you out as well. Especially Brave. Check that out if you get a chance. Now, just jumping into these statements by Donald Trump that obviously is having a lot of people bewildered and some people obviously worried, it's important to give you the full context of exactly what Donald Trump said here. A lot of people, of course, don't trust mainstream media. They've been caught manipulating headlines and the news in order to push for political power. And we have to understand as an institution, we have to hear it from the horse's mouth. And that's why it's important to get Trump's exact words here, because he said, quote, we are mobilizing our military and other forces wonder who the other forces will be continuing on, but quote, we're mobilizing our military on the basis that we do have a vaccine. You know, it's a massive job to give this vaccine. Our military is now being mobilized. So at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. Going on, he said, quote, we still have a tremendous force because assuming we get it, then you have to distribute it. And unless you're mobilized and ready, you're not going to be able to do it for a long time. So we're starting now. Now, if there's a Q person watching, I, sh I hope you don't self combust here. But those are Trump's exact words, especially on the heels of him predicting that a vaccine for the coronavirus will be ready this year. Something that even Dr. Fauci has questioned him on, specifically even Dr. Fauci coming out and saying that there could be very severe ramifications from this vaccine that we should be very careful of with how we implement. But Donald Trump, of course, fired back against Dr. Fauci, who has raised his skepticisms for this vaccine, which there, there should be some, because when we look at the coronavirus, we have COVID-19, which is a strain of one of these particular categories of viruses. But 
with the other viruses, especially the viruses of this type, there never has been a successful vaccination for any of them. When we look at the flu vaccine, which is pushed and recommended by the media and some doctors, there are even conflicting studies and reports coming out highlighting how a flu vaccine could potentially expose you to the coronavirus. Now, again, these are just preliminary studies, but it shows you that there are far more complications when it comes to vaccines then, of course, just simply injecting yourself and being magically immune to something. Now, the debate about vaccines has been a very heated debate. But when it comes to the exact situation that we're dealing with right now, putting your faith in vaccines is, I would say, something that should be extensively questioned since many medical professionals are coming out and publicly saying that they fear that they will never be a vaccine since of course coronaviruses the general type that COVID-19 is in the category with haven't been treated with vaccines before but now somehow we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this on top of the latest allegations that the United States is not participating with the global community when it comes to quote developing one of these vaccines. The European Union is hosting a gathering of countries pledging resources and research into vaccines. It is a global call that the United States is not expected to participate in. This, of course, puts into question exactly what Donald Trump is talking about when he is saying the vaccine will be ready this year. But still, according to Trump, there are some very impressive and fast-moving developments when it comes to producing this in the United States. And again, the skepticism is definitely more than valid here against those claims and what Donald Trump is saying publicly. Other reasons to question the vaccine is, of course, a reinfection rate that some countries are reporting. Another one is that is that data is suggesting that immunity quickly wanes from individuals who have antibodies to this. And we're dealing with something that we can't even t correctly test for as demonstrated by the tanzanian president that did his own tests on inanimate objects farm animals and fruits that according to him came back positive for the coronavirus there's other news articles talking about that country hiding particular cases accusing the president of doing that but but still exactly what we're dealing with here is is just as confusing since, of course, a lot of the experts usually contradict each other in a matter of days when it comes to this particular topic. Questions around tests, where this sickness came from, some people documenting blue toes, some people documenting in massive inflammation among children, other people are now talking about psychosis, and you kind of got to stop and ask yourselves and, and be like, what are we really dealing with here now? There is a lot of fear, and there is not enough of solid data and information out there which there should be more of and i already know a lot of trump supporters are going to be saying that no he didn't mean it no he's only saying it to save face but you look at exactly what's happening plans to do this are already being laid out being paid for and look like they're moving forward as we just got a press release by the u.s department of defense that awarded a hundred and thirty eight million dollar contract for syringes in order to deal with COVID-19. So this is not just a crazy statement by Donald Trump, but this is a plan that is already moving forward. And now with the vaccine being questioned, even by Dr. Fauci, what are they going to be doing when, when again, everything here just completely doesn't add up? And that's a question that is deserved to be asked, especially on the tail end of how the U.S. government responded to all of this. There has been an utter evisceration and destruction of small and medium-sized businesses. There's an economic disaster looming, not because of the coronavirus, but again, because of direct government action. And this is a point brought up by Larkin, Rose, and Amanda recently, other fellow YouTubers as well that you could find on, uh, hope no, you probably can't find them on YouTube anymore, but they brought up this point that a lot of the media headlines blame this sickness for the incompetency and actions taken directly by government officials. And when you look at the larger ramifications of them, 
Enabling them to do more now during this drastic time is something that in my opinion should be avoided. And as I've been saying, the larger economic ramifications from a lot of these steps and actions taken by government will be far more severe than of course the coronavirus. And the ramifications will be felt tremendously, not just now, but through the coming months and even years ahead of us. And because of that and so many other factors and so many other incidences, I think it's more important than ever to take what Donald Trump is taking seriously, to address it, push back on it, and start a bigger conversation surrounding this particular idea because in my own personal opinion, it is a very bad one. But what do you think? Is this somehow a good idea? I would love to hear, especially from all the Trump supporters out there, what they feel about Trump's words, which are, again, not just his words. The, these are actions, money's being spent, they're being pushed forward, and in my opinion, something to seriously consider. Very curious to see what you guys will say down in the comment section below, as, of course, I always appreciate the conversation. Now, in other news, that's not as heavy. We're getting information that there is allegedly an antibody testing game changer that is coming out, which allegedly will give people 100% accurate test results, which is something, of course, that we didn't have in a very long time. In other good news, doctors are finding that the triple combination of an anti-malaria drug along with zinc and azatomericin has been having incredible results in hospitals leading to people getting discharged and cutting down the risk of death by over 50%. Other investigations are even finding out that something as simple as mouthwash is helping protect individuals from allowing this virus to spine and spread in your throat. Again, this was something that we were talking about months ago, something that I even personally implemented in my own life. But again, these are all just preliminary bits of information that haven't been conclusively tested. Other new studies are coming out and showing that vitamin D plays a very important role here as well, as some scientists suggest that its potency is linked to mortality. And how do you get vitamin D? By going outside, getting some sun, and being in, of course, nature. All of those things that tyrannical, overreaching, power-hungry bureaucrats have been stopping free, sovereign individuals from doing all over the world. They've been even tracking individuals down with Chinese-made spy drones when they're alone in nature by themselves, not bothering anyone. Seeing actions like that perturbed me more than I could explain since, of course, it's just absolutely backwards. It ends up hurting more people than helping people. And it is the epitome of government in action, which needs to be heavily questioned to say the least. So yeah, hope you guys are spending your time wisely, informing yourself of what's going on and taking the appropriate action. We need accurate information more than ever in order to assess the world that we're living in and to move forward in it in the right direction. If you thought I did that. Share this video with your friends and family members. And because some of you still do, because I'm still here, this is why. Love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.